All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's not even waste no time. The Bachelor. Um, Last night, it was clear that Matt James was not looking for a wife. He was looking for an Oscar. He was looking for a Golden Globe. He was looking for an NAACP award. My nigga came through with the dramatics. I mean, he was coming for every acting award. He was putting on a show. Matt, you're a clown. And your best role is a clown. So somebody needs to go ahead and just give you uh, the McDonald's wig and the, the nose to match, put you in one of them uh, clown cars, because you are a whole motherfucking clown. And I'm gonna just start from, you know what? I'm not even gonna be organized with the way I go over this. I'm gonna start from your words. When you looked at Rachel and said that the incident with her celebrating slavery made you realize that she didn't know, she didn't understand what it was like for you to be a black man in America, and that she wouldn't understand your blackness and your the, the blackness of your future kids and your experiences. That's when I knew what I knew all along. You are a fucking clown. You are a clown. You were looking for a white woman to understand your blackness. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Like I'm trying to make it make sense like somebody somebody help me understand why you would look to a white woman for understanding about your blackness and you know it, it's i noticed how the entire season you know matt kept dragging his daddy about oh my well my black father couldn't do for what my white mother i mean he never used those words exclusively but them is the words you really wanted to use okay and so when you say that and and it made me think well did your mother understand your daddy's blackness there must have been layers to their relationship it can't just be that he cheated on her because everybody get cheated on Everybody get cheated on. Your mama got cheated on. Her mama got cheated on. Her mama's mama got cheated on. Her auntie got cheated Everybody get cheated on. Everybody doesn't just separate like that. So could it be that your white mother didn't understand your black father's blackness? The same way Rachel would never understand yours because she's a racist white women's. See, the thing with black men not just mixed black men like you but the thing with black men a lot of y'all be thinking just because these white women will suck and fuck your dick that they're not racist they're still racist but you have a black dick black dick is a blessing black dick is amazing black dick can change the world black dick can change your mood black dick can change your outlook your perspective Black dick, when that black dick hits, it could change a lot of things. It does not change racism. That's one thing it will never change. Black dick will never change racism. And you know why? Because black dick doesn't choose to do the work. Black dick doesn't do the work to actually align itself with someone, if it is someone outside the race, to actually align itself to someone who actually cares to do the work, to remove racism, at least from their lives, to recognize their racism, to recognize their, their, generation, their generational racism, to, to recognize the benefits that they get from racism. Black dick don't do the work. All black dick is good for is a good orgasm, as far as I'm concerned. Y'all niggas don't like to do the work. We, we will, black dick will never change racism. Black dick will never save us from racism. Okay, so that's just my black dick monologue. That was my black dick monologue. Um, so Matt, you know you're a black man now? This, <laughs> this entire season, you never talked about your blackness. Now you coming through to the reunion with your Black Panther beard on. I mean, you all you was missing was the Afro. Now you black now. Now you a black man in America. But every interview you've done, every interview you've done where people ask you, how does it feel to be the first black pastor? Well, you know, I'm black, but I'm white. I'm black, but I'm white too. My daddy 
black. But my mom is white. So I'm white too. I mean, that's been you the entire season. Promoting this show. On the actual show, you never talk about your blackness. You don't ever talk about your blackness. But all of a sudden, you get to the reunion and you calling Kaepernick now. Now you standing up, stand up, stand up. Stand up for your right. Hey, get up, stand up. Boy, don't give up the fight. Ah, so now you black now. You black. You black now. Okay. Okay. That's cute. It's cute. You still a clown. You still a clown. Because it took for your racist white girlfriend to acknowledge the fact that she celebrated slavery in college three years ago. Three, three years ago was not a long time ago. That was 2018. Think about the last couple years and all the racial tension that we've had in this country for the last decade. I mean, since the beginning of the country. But basically, just think about like how social media has made it become more in your face to talk about racism for the last couple years, your girlfriend knew exactly what she was going, what, what, what she was doing. She was celebrating slavery. She was celebrating niggers in chains. Okay. And what really killed me? <laughs> See, I'm gonna get in your ass. What really killed me was these are your words. When the picture started coming out. And when the article started coming out, when the picture started coming out, you know, I dismissed them as rumors. I was, my, my thing was, I was still going to be there for her. So the, you saw the pictures. You saw the pictures of your girlfriend in her plantation gear, in her plantation owner gear. And you still said to yourself, I'm going to be there for her. You a clown. You're a clown. You are a clown. You are a clown. Out of 32 women, you pick the racist. Because you're a clown. And you hate your blackness. So don't 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 come to the reunion with all that fake ass. I'm a black man. How I am black man. Doing all I can at the reunion. You hate your blackness. You hate it. You hate it. You hate your blackness. You were still going to be with that bitch. You were still going to be with that bitch. What it took was her acknowledging it publicly for you to finally say, okay, I'm not okay with this. Because now I, I get that she doesn't understand that I'm a young black man. I'm a young black man. Now, now that made you say, okay, I got to let this go. I got to let this go, let this go, like Elsa. You full of shit. You a clown, and you hate your blackness. Out of 32 women, you picked the racist. And I saw it coming. I saw it coming because you were literally up in Queen Victoria's ass watching her be racist to all the, 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 the darker-skinned, women there watching her belittle the other women you like that shit you like racism you like bigotry you like bullies you like it you like it you like it other people might clap for your ass but me and my titties ain't clapping for shit i see right through that fake ass fake ass colin kaepernick act you put on at the motherfucking reunion you is a motherfucking clown you are a clown what else? Let me tell you who's not a clown. Your brother. Now, hold on now. <laughs> Your brother was giving me Colin Kaepernick, Nipsey Hussle sandwich. Like he was giving me like, okay, if they had a child together, like if they, or if somebody put them in a, put them in a damn experiment and just merge them together, we would have your brother. I was like, well, what's going on? Cause first of all, what's going on? He the black one. So your brother, the black one, your brother had a gold in his mouth. His braids in him and his hair. And I was like, let me just Google this nigga. So I, I get the Googling. You know me. I get the. <laughs> and this is what I found. Wanna fuck? I can't see us together. Free as a bird, but I'm fly as a feather. Been wanna fuck since the day that I met her. She cooking clean like her name is Coretta. She thick as hell.
smell like a Auntie Loretta Might get you smoked like a dirty Beretta Yeah, you did good, but you gotta do better Came in this bitch and I'm stepping on water You open the door and I'm fucking your daughter I'm trying to be cool, but you know that I'm hotter I catch me a flight and I stop in Nevada She, she like the Gucci, the Louis, the Prada Think it's just sweet, you get popped like pinata Out in the sea and I swim with piranha All I wanna do is smoke marijuana Might take the He the black one, he the black one Justice for John as a matter of fact, just, uh, John need to be the next bachelor. See, we were jib, bamboozled, hoodwinked, because we got the white sibling. We ain't get the black sibling. So justice for John, can we go ahead and just make John the next bachelor? And while you at it, um, I saw they picked, I saw who they picked for the next bachelorette or whatever. I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it. I want a dark-skinned bachelorette. And don't come at me with the whole, there was Rachel Lindsay, yes. But you know what kind of dark skin I'm talking about. I'm talking about Lupita. I'm talking about Viola. I'm talking about y Yvonne Orgy. I'm talking about me. And let's really shake the table. No wigs. 4C hair texture. Let's go. Let's go. 4C hair texture. I want the braid stylings. I want, the I want her to be in braids one episode. I want her to be in the front of the next episode. I want her to have an afro in one episode. I want her to have... The motherfucking fan ponytail in, a, in another episode. I want my dark skin, 4C textured black queen for my next bachelorette. That's it, period. Um, let me just touch on the girls real quick. Um, what he what you did to what was her name, Michelle? Matt, you so like Matt. Like watching Michelle cry over this, like watching how she crumbled to the floor. After she went and she got Matt those matching jerseys. And it was clear they had had all these conversations about changing the world together. Like, she was really invested. She was invested in investing in you. And see, that's the thing with black women. Black women, we be so invested in our black men. And we don't be getting that energy. I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that's the story for all black women black men i'm not saying matt james represents all black men but literally when i watched her do that when i watched her put her heart on the line put like invest her thoughts like you know what i'm not just gonna talk about it i'm gonna be about it we've talked about changing the world together we've talked about what we want to do what our mission is what our purposes in life is like how we're going to link those purposes and that's and, and how you crumbled that girl to the floor and told her yeah i can't get there with you and just left no conversation and when she asked to have a conversation with you just for closure you refuse you're a fucking clown you a clown you a clown and i hope you never find love i hope you never find love i hope you never feel loved because you a motherfucking clown the way you did that girl you a clown I hope your hairline starts receding. Justice for Michelle. Puss ass nigga. Um, what else did I want to touch on? Rachel didn't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> Rachel didn't give a fuck. She slept, she celebrated. Listen, to be honest, I think Rachel be at home still celebrating slavery. She didn't give a fuck. There was no real awareness. Like she, like <laughs> when Emmanuel, uh, uh, I can't remember his last name. He's so fine, by the way. I hope y'all keep his ass. He fine as hell. Is that Yvonne Orgy X? He fine. What happened, Yvonne? What the fuck? What's going on? You know what? He might have some ain't shit about this. Him. He might have some ain't shitness about him too. We gonna Google. We gonna we gonna look him up. I'll be back with that tea. But when he asked her, so what are you doing? You know to educate yourself. To like really, she was like, you know, I mean, I could tell you that I've read books, that I've that I've re done research, but I ain't. She ain't tell us no steps she took, cause she ain't taking no steps. She ain't taking no step by steps, day by day. She don't give a fuck. She races, and she's comfortable in her racism. The most she'll go towards making any changes for racism in her life is sucking black dick. That's it. All right. Damn, what 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 do y'all want from me? I was willing to suck black dick. Shit. Um, what else? That's it. That's all I got for the bachelor. Matt, you ain't shit. I hope you never find love. I hope you never feel love. Michelle, you about to be the next bachelorette. I wish you would have got your own. 
I mean, it looks like you are going to have your own season, but I don't like how they did the announcement, the joint announcement. Like, let black girls have their things. Why we always got to share shit? Why we always got to share some shit? Let black women have their things on their fucking own. Okay? Um, that's it. That's all I got. Let me know what y'all think about, what y'all thought about the, the, the reunion special, the after the road special. Um, you know what I have a question about? Which, oh yeah, again, what y'all thought about Matt's brother. What y'all think about his mom? Cause I, I'll say this. I forgot to say this, but I blame his mom. His mom is part of the problem. Because when she started that whole, oh, you don't have to make any decision. You don't have to commit any. Bitch, he's on a show to find love. Why would you steer him away from that? Then that's when everything changed. Soon as your mama with her red blush wearing ass came through and said that shit. Now I see why his daddy left you. Anyway, so y'all let me know what y'all thought about the reunion. What you, what you guys thought about um, Matt being black all of a sudden. His mama and her red blush. His uh, brother being the black one. Michelle getting tried on television. Um, and I want to end with this too. What do you guys think biracials should identify as? I'm of the belief if you're black, you're black. But there's a lot of people who say the one drop rule that we should get rid of that. But I feel like somebody like in Matt's case, I would have never known you were what if you didn't say it. Because you are visibly black. You're visibly black. So I don't, I don't, I don't get it. So do you think biracials should identify this as people of color? Or should they just, I'm black? Let me know what you guys think about that. Once again, my song Laid Up drops this Friday, okay? You can pre-save it using the link in the description uh, box of this video. I love y'all. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you guys thought about this video. And we'll talk to each other later. Hallelujah.